Hello everyone, this is Pokestarsky Boot Tops with some more Showdown Battles. So we're going to jump right into this. These are uh, three random battles. And let's get started. First battle is me versus whoever this guy is, how you pronounce his name. Akia Fan 1. Anyways, Kowalski versus Red Rock. I use substitute his earthquake and he knocks me out. Speed boost comes in. I'm going to use protect, try to get more speed boosts on him. You know, hopefully I get some good speed boosts and everything in there. Uh, I use Sky Protect, thinking I'd do a lot more damage. It did not do as much as I thought it would. Use Earthquake, I'm like, I can't switch out. I don't have uh, anything that would help me right there. So I use Sky Protect again to try to get as much damage on him as I possibly can. Switch into Finion, he uses Surf, knocks out Earthrock one hit. He goes into Magneton, I switch from Finion into Nidoqueen. Queen. Nidoqueen's Queen's immune to the Thunderbolt, so he a ground type. I. Then he switches them. I'm trying to use Fire Blast as a work force miss. I use Thunderbolt. My uh, Ninja Queen has Sheer Force with Life Orb. Great combination, especially since all of its moves are affected by combination when you uh, have that on there. Finion has Water Absorb, so of course Suicune's not going to be able to do anything. He switches in my, into my Ninja Queen. Switch out my Ninja Queen into Finion. He uses Scold again. Doesn't work, of course, because of that. I say about Grass. He uses a Hidden Power. Probably either Logical Grass or my Charge 1. Then I go into another hidden power to knock out Suicune with Finion. He switches back into Magazine, I'm going to switch back into Nido Queen. He uses Flash Cannon, does pretty good amount of damage. Does 35%, I'm going to use Fire Blast, doesn't knock out uh, Tornadoes, but does pretty good damage. He's going to go for the Hurricane, I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt. Now then, we have Sheer Force and Life Orb on. If your moves are affected by Sheer Force, then you don't take any damage from using the Life Orb, which is great. So then I use Thunderbolt and then Fire Blast and those two. He's Try to use Fire Blast on Jirachi, but Jirachi knocks him out in Flash Cannon. I switch into Quilava to finish us off this battle with that. So now I'm going to the next Pokemon battle, Ninkata versus Giratina. This battle doesn't have any sound. I uh, fought the battle without any sound, so I can't record it. So I used uh, Night Slash, didn't do too much. He used Dragon Ball, knocks out Ninkata. Ninkata wasn't that big of a deal anyways, though. I go into my Escapulier. As you can see, I used all but one of my Pokemon. So because I never used the last Pokemon, you guys don't really know what it is. It's a, uh, pretty sure it's a legendary. I just didn't feel like using it until the end. And I never got a chance to really use it. So, I use, I'm just going to keep using Sword Dance as my strategy here. Yeah, sorry for the yawn. Any rate, so yes, I keep using Sword Dance as a times for attack. He's going for Dragon Pulse constantly, just trying to do as much damage as possible. It's not going to do too much though, because I'm a Steel type. I use Mega Horn, knock him out, and one hit. Sweep that Garatina out of there. He's going to go with Magma Zone. I'm going to go for Return to try to knock it out. He uses Hidden Power. I resist it. Return does quite the damage. There's 14 HP left. I have 13. I have a uh, Life Orb attached to this escape the Earth. He uses Flash Tank to finally sweep out my Escapular. I go into Electrode for this next one. I go for Foul Play, hoping I do a lot more damage. Did not do as much as I thought it would. So he goes in with the Flash Cannon, doesn't do too much to me. Pops my balloon, though. I go Volt Switch to get out of there. And I'm going to switch into a uh, into my Slow King. I know usually you wouldn't try to use a water type of that much. He uses uh, uh, Flash Cannon, though, again. So I'm going to go for the uh, Fire Blast here, you know, for a uh, super effective hit and everything. He uses Flash Cannon once again. I knock it out with Fire Blast. He's going to go in with, I believe, okay, it's Cockney. I'm going to go for the Fire Blast again, try and sweep it. And I always get the sweep. He covers a lot for, over, we go, we cover with leftovers and he gets to the Leech Seed. I switch out into my Victory Bell. Victory Bell, of course, does not get affected by Toxic or Leech Seed due to his dual type of Poison and Grass. So he just keeps using Toxic, doesn't really work. I use Growth. He's going to use Stun Spore next turn while I use Growth. Paralyzes me, I use Growth. Get that times two attack and special attack. That's all you really need for Victory Bell for me to win this battle. Anyway, uh, so he switches into Got the Tail, knowing Psychic. It would be Poison. I use Sucker Punch. Fails at first. I use Sucker Punch. What's more, his guy's attacking me sooner or later. And Sucker Punch knocks it out. Super effective with times two attacking now. He goes in Surskit. I'm paralyzed. He uh, hits me with 
some move that's super effective to hit power. Not sure what type. I use Sucker Punch, sweep it out of the way. Then he's going to Suicune. I'm going to go for a Giga Drain, as he uses Hydro Bomb. Hydro Bomb doesn't do much because I'm a grass type. Use Giga Drain to sweep him out of the way, recover a good portion of my HP. Lose some due to uh, the Life Orb I think I'm holding. I don't know what makes me lose HP. So then I go in for the second punch, it doesn't work. He's trying to just talks out on what he's trying to do. Anyway, he's a substitute, I use Power Whip. Yeah, I'm going too fast now. <laughs> anyway, so I'm taking damage. I'm pretty sure I have a life orb attached to him. So he's leech seed doesn't work because I'm a grass type. I am paralyzed. I'm gonna go for the He's gonna go for some I'm gonna go for power whip again, I believe, just to knock it out. And that makes the loss of the physical one for that one. Now we'll go into this final battle. If my zoom sets work. Hey right. So that's Snorlax versus my Wubbuffet. You can see all that from the other side. I'm gonna go in with counter, do as much damage as I possibly can. I'm go for counter again. He doesn't work because he's a whirlwind. Whirlwind gets me a way to skip bloom. Skip bloom uses toxic on Snorlax. Snorlax uses pursue on skip bloom. Because he thought I was gonna switch or something. And I'm just gonna go for the substitute. He's gonna go for self-destruct. Perfect timing for everything, you know. Alright, so he goes in for crowd null, trying to do the ice beams. I'm gonna use protect to see what he's gonna on. I was hoping he'd get like banded or something, he'd be stuck on the ice beam or something. So I switch into my war turtle, he uses ice beam as I thought he would. I freeze though, which was a pain. Serious pain for this entire battle. He uses reflect, switches into Salgor. Salgor's gonna hit me with a Giga Drain, and I'm gonna thaw out right afterwards, and I'm gonna use Toxic, poisonous to Salgor. This Salgor's a big pain against my party. So I switch from that into my Wobbuffet, and, you know, I'm just going to uh, try to mute coat, but he bug buzzes me away. I'm going to go on Z, he's his Focus Blast, I'm going to knock, sweep him out of the way. As I said, the cycle is a big pain, I'm going to use Aqua Jet, try to get as much damage done as possible, it does not really do much, he's going to drain, knock me out, pretty much recover all the damage I did to him. I'm going to skip Bloom, give him to use Retact. I'm just going to wait for the Poison to do its job, which it should do this turn. Knocks out that uh, Sogor. Big, big pain out of the way. I switch out into Gerdur. He is Ice, but he's not going to do much. I'm a fighting type. I use Drain Punch, but he switches into Deoxys. I know he's going to try to use Psychic Attack, type attack so I'm going to be switching to my Absol. He's going to go for Psycho Boost. Does not do anything because I'm a Dark type. He uses Stealth Rock as I use Sword Stance. That Sword Stance is all I need to destroy there, so it's probably I'm going to use Night Slash. Knock out his Psychic types. He's going to Cryo Gnaw this time. He uses Ice Beam. Hope I guess he's trying to get freeze. That's a bunch of damage to me. I'm going to use Super Power. lose a bit of that attack I gain from Sword Stance. Lose some of my defense, but it doesn't make too much of a difference. He goes into Zuba. I'm going to use Night Slash again. Takes a few damage from Life Orb. He's going to Deoxys Thunderbolt to not on extreme speed. My bad to knock me out. I'm going to go into Skip Bloom. He's going to use Thunderbolt. Almost knocks me out. I'm going to Toxic him. He's going to try and Thunderbolt me again, but I'm going to use Protect. Takes damage from the poison. I gain some HP. And then he's extreme speed, sweeps him out, and takes damage from his own life orb and then dies of poison. That is the end of my battles. I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Support Shows Kaboot Tops signing off.